my name is James Wilkinson and welcome to my YouTube channel. A major lender has dropped interest rates this week. Some Forbes are saying that this might ignite another price war in the UK, which would be good for us, who, or, or basically anyone that needs a mortgage at the moment or looking to remortgage uh, in the next few months. So we're going to talk about who that lender is, what products this works for, because it's really interesting to see does it just include buy to let or is it residential? Uh, and what loan to value do you need as well? So we're going to cover that and more in this video. But before we jump into this, as always, make sure you do subscribe to the channel over there and hit the bell notification. We're on the way to 25,000 subscribers now. And smash the like button or tickle the like button. Do something to the like button. That really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Tons of you have been doing it and that's getting more views on the channel. Remember, our goal this year is 5 million views. So, what is going on? Well, mortgage lenders are looking to get competitive again. And we had interest rates going up 14 months in a row or 14 meetings in a row. Uh, now, the Bank of England have kept rates fairly flat. They're not really giving much away on when they're going to drop rates. In fact, it was expected at one point it could be March, then it went to May. Now people are saying June, but could it even be later in the year it really depends on inflation data which we've got next week so it'll be interesting to see how that goes well a major lender has decided they want to be the cheapest in the country again and this is what happens you see when you're a lender the way we shop for mortgages now maybe you use a mortgage broker which is what i would advise or maybe you use a comparison site you'll be looking at one of the best cheapest one, two or three deals. That's normally how we look at it. Very, I mean, I can't imagine that if your bank offered you a rate at 10%, but NatWest down the road offered you 5%, I'm sure you would go with NatWest. And that's what we look for. So the lenders, they need to be the cheapest to be at the top of those results. And it's important for them to do that. Now, what they'll do is they'll have a marketing campaign, they'll drop the rate, they'll get to the top, get loads of business in, and then they might let someone else take that spot from them. So this time it's HSBC. These guys have dropped rates quite a few times in the last six months, but they've also put rates up as well. Uh, and so they've decided they want to take over the spot from Nat West, who were one of the best deals last week. Uh, and so they have dropped the rates. Now, it's not a lot. I know as soon as I put this up, you're going to troll me in the comments and say, this isn't much, but it is something. And it could, as Forbes is saying, start NatWest to decide to undercut them and hopefully they keep fighting over this. So they've dropped rates on all of their products by 0.11%. Uh, so not 1%, a 10% of 1%. Uh, but if you're on a buy-to-let mortgage, this does make a difference. Now, this is going across all of their products. So it's buy-to-let mortgages, uh, it's residential mortgages, both of those categories are covered by this. That's important because sometimes lenders will just drop their buy to let or they'll just drop their residential. More often, it's just the residential. So investors, this is good for you guys as well. Um, now, if you took a two-year deal on their, their best rate that they've got now, uh, it would be 4.68%. Um, and the fees would be £999. So what can we see from that? Well, look, fees have been dropping. If you were looking a year ago, it was common. There were quite a few products with 5% fees or £5,000 fees. Fees are becoming more realistic. Are we going to get fees getting down to 250 or 500 again? I think at some point we will. Um, in fact, this um, beats NatWest on their deal, uh, but there is also a Barclays deal that's slightly better than this. So Barclays have matched them on rate 4.68% as well. So go and have a look at that. Now the Barclays deal has no fees, uh, which is great. So a lot of people might go and have a look at that Barclays deal as well. So no fees is a big, big difference. Um, maybe that will push HSBC to also do this. Um, now, these deals, to get this kind of rate, they're offering uh, anything that's better than a 75% loan-to-value. So, as long as you've got 
25% equity in your property, then this deal could be good for you, which is why this also works for buy to let because you normally got to put down a 25% deposit for buy to let. Now, this also is on their full range of term. So you can get this on a two year deal, on a three year deal, and on a five year deal. So this is a good start to the week. Um, we actually do, just in case you don't know, every single week I do a wrap up of what's the best mortgage deals for houses of multiple occupancy, buy to let in a limited company, buy to let in a personal name and residential uh, properties as well at different levels of equity as well. So do check out that. That's another reason to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. So why is this happening? Well, this is happening, as we said, because business has slowed down a little bit for these guys. They want to get a bit more competitive. Uh, and what we're hoping, and this is what we want to start looking out for now, is does the market start to fight over business again? If that does, that could be an indication that housing is slowing down as well. We did a video this week already on the fact that more listings came on over Easter than that has happened since 20. 20. Right move were reporting that it was a record number. It was 45% up on the previous week. Uh, and that shows that more sellers are coming into the market. Now, it doesn't mean they're necessarily distressed, but it does mean that either they have to sell or they want to sell. Or maybe they're just some of these people that have sat on the sideline. Now, what we've got to look at is, is there buyers to match up with all those sellers? If there is, that's fine. It will be a busy time for solicitors, for estate agents, and everyone will do very, very well. What could happen, though, is if there's an influx of sellers and there isn't the buyers to match, what you could see happening is price cuts. And that will be interesting to see. Does the market start to put price cuts in? Um, the asking prices, if you go and watch that video, are significantly higher than sold prices, which means maybe sellers aren't necessarily desperate right now, but that could change in a few weeks. It could change in a few months, or maybe it'll all be nothing and all those houses and uh, flats and accommodation will sell very, very quickly. I'd love to know your thoughts on that. What do you think on this new HSBC rate? I think it's good to see, even if, even if it's a smidge down, then we'll see NatWest do something about it, hopefully. Then we'll see Barclays do something about it. If they all just keep knocking rates down a little bit and we get some really good inflation data next week, then that will be a great sign for those people that are remortgaging this year or looking to take new investments. Let me know your thoughts in the, and comments below. Do subscribe to the channel. Do go and check out some more content on the channel, including this video right here.